Today we have both the Theragun Prime and the Theragun Elite. Now, at first glance, they look almost identical, but they're quite the commitment. They're both over $200, almost $300. That's because they're on sale right now. But is it actually worth upgrading from the Prime to the Elite? Let's take a look. Hey guys, I'm Scott with Before You Buy, where we do product reviews to make sure it's what you want before you buy it. And today we are making sure it's worth the price of the upgrade for the Theragun Elite. Now, I've used both of these for at least a few weeks. Uh, the Prime's been dropped in the parking lot a few times. In fact, I did an initial video on the Theragun Prime, the unboxing, the setup of the app. These things look almost identical, right? So what is the same? Okay, that's, that's gonna be the easiest thing to look at first. So let's jump over, top down view. Let's check this out because as you notice, they are very much the same. Number one, the Elite is a fingerprint magnet. You can tell after I've used it quite a bit. But uh, they both have that two and a half pound weight, one kilogram, uh, and it has the exact same battery, which makes sense because the battery is most of the weight anyway in most of the massage guns. So same weight, same size almost. Uh, we'll get to that, but they're slightly different in size. The Elite's just a tiny bit bigger. Even the amplitude, how far this head travels back and forth, that distance right there is 16 millimeters. Well, that is actually the same then on the Elite and the Prime, okay? So that's something to factor in. They're the same speeds that they have. The, both have five speeds from 1750 all the way up to 2400. Now, Scott, you're telling me they have the same speeds, they have the same battery life, they have the same size, they have the same everything, right? Not quite. Just sit tight. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. And hey, real quick, it is after 3 o'clock. Uh-oh. Tomorrow's going to be a rough one because I stay up late to record these videos, uh, you know, to help you decide what massage guns and what products you should buy. So if this is helping you, please consider using those links down below. It actually buys me a cup of coffee. I get a little kickback from those. Or you can use, uh, I sign up for a new service called buymeacoffee.com. So I have that link down below too if you literally want to buy me a cup of coffee because it's going to be a late one tomorrow. So or early one. Thanks. So they both have this quiet force motor. Now let me show you what they mean by quiet force. Oh, this one. So they're they're loud. Okay, it's it's not super loud. In fact, they've dropped their volume a lot over the years. Okay, their earlier models were much louder. All the massage guns were much louder. Even on their website, I thought it was interesting. They point out that they're actually the volume compared to the average massage gun is still above average. So it's an above average volume massage gun. But then they also, on that same graph, show compared to the old massage gun, and it looks like it's super quiet. It's not quiet, but it's not insanely loud. So is it usable? Yes, but you're not going to be using one of these, either of the, any of those, while you're watching a movie with the family. So keep that in mind. Also, this charger, since they do have the same battery, I assumed they would have the same charger. They're not. Uh, as, as you see, the Prime is smaller than the Elite. I did not notice any charge difference. In fact, let me see. Uh, output 15, 1.5, and then this is a 20 volt, uh, 2.2. So different voltages, which is interesting. Uh, that's because we're gonna get to it. The differences in the motor. Now, I don't know if the motor's actually any different, if it's the same volume, it's using the same batteries, all that. Are they actually using a different motor in there? Or is it a setting in there because the stall force is what is different. Now, if you remember, stall force is how much pressure it takes to stop the motor from going back and forth, which is the amplitude. Amplitude, stall force, okay? Now, this one has 20 pounds of force. This one has 30 pounds of force. Now, I can tell you that uh, that number is so hard to imagine. 20 pounds, what does that mean, Scott? All massage guns, I feel like, are different. They have a different scale of reference, I feel like, because some massage guns say they have 50 pounds of stall force and it's less than this 20. Some say they have 15 and it's stronger than a 30. Like, 
I feel like it's all super hard to recognize, which is why I recommend finding a reviewer that you can trust, that you can show an example of it. So uh, I can say, even on low here, I go on low, I mean, it takes some serious force. And as you get to higher speeds here, you're gonna really notice it. So maybe if you need a super deep hip back, maybe uh, do you need that extra force. But I can tell you, especially on the higher speeds, even the Prime would be fine. So as I mentioned, the Elite is a little bit bigger, but you can't even hardly tell based on even holding them in my hand. The Prime just feels a touch smaller but uh, ultimately it's like a half inch in various directions. So not a huge deal, but you know, kind of like a 13 inch to 15 inch laptop. There's a significant difference, but I didn't really even notice it much in my backpack because they are so similar shape, similar size. Okay, so keep that in mind. Also, jumping over to the cases or boxes, you'll see the, the Theracon Elite has all the same kind of heads in here, plus, one. Now there's they're basically the same except for the Elite comes with this wedge as well. So they come with a dampener. I believe they call this one the thumb and then they have a cone. So they all have similar type heads but this one the Elite comes with this wedge. Now the wedge can be nice for like the IT band or something like that. But also as I mentioned the case. <laughs> you get a very nice box on the Theragun Prime. The Elite, you actually get this nice case, at least. So you gotta love that. At least you get a case. I mean, a case does not cost that much, but I'll be 100% honest. Even As much as I wanna complain that they don't come with a case, because what's a case cost them? Ultimately, a couple bucks probably. I rarely use a case. A case is nice for storing it. I rarely take the whole case to the gym with me. I rarely take the whole case traveling with me. I grab the charger. I grab probably the one massage head I'm gonna use the most and throw it in my backpack. Now that's just me. That's my opinion. That's how I travel. But if you're gonna be one that uh, keeps changing heads a lot and all that, you're probably gonna want that case, okay? So now we're getting to the nitty gritty, okay? The Theragun Prime also does not have a screen. Let me jump back over. As you can see on the back here, Here's the Prime, here's the Elite. If I turn this one on, turn it back off, you see this has a little bit of an OLED screen. Now the Prime just has a, a little LED indicators for everything. You got your up and down arrows, okay? The Theragun Elite does have this little OLED screen that also shows you a little pressure sensitivity. So as I turn it back on here, Come on, baby, push and hold for a few seconds. Uh, I'm gonna drop that speed down. But as you, as I push on this, see if I can get it in the camera. Okay, so those bars going up and down, that's the pressure, how much pressure you're pushing on it. Uh, that can be nice when you're working on someone else until you kind of get used to hearing the motor and what the, you know, how it kind of bogs down, okay? But that also kind of plays into the app a little bit, which I'll get to in a later review. Okay, Scott, who should buy which? Well, you know, I would say rarely did any, would anyone need to upgrade and spend that extra money. They are so much alike, so much alike. And I, you don't need an OLED screen on your massage gun unless you really want that pressure sensitivity because you're working on others. But even so, you start to kind of get a feel of it by, like I said, the bogging down of the motor. If you want the case, you're gonna want the Elite. If you wanna be Elite, <laughs> you're gonna need the Elite. But ultimately, I think this one's, I like the finish, the matte black finish on this one, so it's not a fingerprint magnet. This looks very nice when it's clean and perfect, but I kind of have sweaty hands, so it always looks kind of gunked up. So I would say, unless you want the wedge, unless you want the case, and unless you want that pressure sensitivity, which I feel like is not worth an extra 70, 80 bucks. That's the price of a massage gun I highly recommend, <laughs> 70, 80 bucks, let alone the upgrade of a massage gun. I personally would say it's not worth the upgrade, but what do you think? Let me know down in the comments down below. Uh, again, 
This is just my opinion. I kind of wanted to show you the difference because I was wondering it myself. And if you're curious, I bought this one myself for $300 off of Amazon a while back. And I got, I was gifted this one from Theragun to um, do a review on it. So uh, I just wanted to make sure you guys know. Until next time, see ya.